Remember these pictures of recent extreme weather events and the devastation they caused? The Nelson floods just over a month ago. Then there's Cyclone Gabrielle in February 2023. Help us. And weeks earlier, the Auckland storms. Destruction in the billions of dollars. My house is gone. My our house is... I can't even talk. Scientists say global warming means that these events just add water, more than a third more water, then rinse, squeeze, repeat. So we could see, um, under a high emission scenario, uh, towards the end of the century, up to a 30 to 35% increase in extreme rainfall um, coming out of our big tropical cyclones. Peter Gibson wrung out the data for Earth Sciences New Zealand. This particular example is, is, is one of the strongest uh, tropical cyclones in our simulations. If these pictures don't convince, look at it this way. The relatively modest purple blob on the left is based on the storms we've experienced. The other raging one is a glimpse into a possible future. On the right here is a similar example under high emission scenario. So these storms are again form in the tropics. Gibson used plenty of data, think as far back as the fall of the Roman Empire. We simulated over 1,800 uh, model years in our simulations. This translated to approximately 10,000 storms in our simulations. So it, it allowed us to build up a large um, sample size of different storms to investigate. The scientists then modelled three future scenarios under global temperature rises of one degree, two degrees and three degrees. Remember, warm air holds more moisture. This could be de particularly devastating, especially when some of these regions saw up to you know, 400 millimetres of rainfall. Under the heading clutching at straws, Gibson says the storms will occur about as frequently, but more of them will be big, category four big, when Gabrielle was category three. We don't um, see large changes in the frequency or the changes in the overall tracks of these tropical cyclones. The biggest takeaway for New Zealanders is, 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 is largely that the amount of rainfall um, coming out of these storms will increase with warming. Under any of these scenarios, the threat to vulnerable communities will only grow, but the Insurance Council says it's a decent heads up. Is it the science is telling us um, and giving us advance warning that there's likely to be more rain in these cyclones and that's likely going to mean more flooding in the future. So we can get ahead of that, we can build infrastructure, we can build protections for communities to make sure we're keeping them safe and reducing risk. If that were achieved it could keep insurance premiums manageable, but the big question is can the mitigations be achieved?